Hello, my name is Chris Mouflard and I am a project engineer at Vicarious Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner video training series level 1, defining location systems and including location systems in the LBS. The aim of this vignette is to teach you about location systems and show you how to create location systems in the Vico Schedule Planner workflow. It is assumed that you have started to split your floors and define your location systems. Location systems are alternative location breakdown structures. Every trade is going to have a different sequence of work. For instance, with concrete work, you might only have two pours on one floor. As whereas finishes, you might have multiple locations and you, as part of your crew sequence. To get started, we will first need to delete our old locations. You can do this individually, right clicking and selecting delete using the delete key or clicking at the project level and selecting delete all tile nodes. Let's scroll to the define location systems in the LBS workflow. When you think about it, it's pragmatic to consider a variety of locations on any project differently. The foundations will naturally differ from the exteriors, so it is pragmatic to predefine these systems before they hit the schedule. LBS systems allow us to immediately separate project tasks into the correct locations, so it is important that we establish them correctly the first time. Let's add two location systems. We can do this a few different ways. We can select the new location systems tab in the ribbon. We can select an empty cell, right click and select new location systems or use control L. Double click in the field to rename it. It's important to use short abbreviated terms as these will filter more clearly in Schedule Planner. Let's head back to Define Locations to begin defining our new location systems. Let's get going by right-clicking at the project level to add location systems. We can select them individually, however in this case it's best to select all. When we break down the project hierarchy, we can see our new location systems. Just as we did in the previous video, we can now start to floor split and prepare our locations within each of our new location systems. Note the warning symbol, we will need to refresh the model and we can do this quickly in our model manager tab. Let's launch schedule planner and check out our new locations. In this vignette, you've been shown how to create location systems as well as define those location systems. Plus, you've been given some extra practice with the polyline tool.